everyone, today I'm at Baltimore Motorcycles picking up this beautiful and brand new for 2023 Kawasaki Z900 RS. This is a bike that I've been most looking forward to riding actually <laughs> all season, but uh, we finally got it. We're finally going to get our hands on and today I'm going to give you my first impressions of the bike. But obviously as this is a long-term loan, you'll get a full in-depth review of this bike and perhaps a little comparison with its main competitors. Now before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon well let's start it up and hear what it sounds like and so i just got on the uh, kawasaki z900 rs and i've got to say my first impressions is that um, it's so gorgeous looking the round mirrors the twin clocks here up on the dashboard it's absolutely fantastic to look at and then everything the, the chrome handlebars the beautiful uh, paint scheme of this uh, particular model a seat in position that uh, yeah really really reminds you of a retro bike handlebars are really nice and easy to reach I'm six foot tall and I don't feel cramped on this bike at all I actually feel like I'm sitting quite high it's very much like a, a naked up upright position with my back slightly tipped forward like just slightly oh this is light as a feather you know <laughs> i don't remember it being so light That's, this is what kawasaki does so well with all of their bikes we just came off the uh, kawasaki vulcan s uh, that we had for long term and that bike even though on the spec sheets it says that it weighs 229 kilograms if i'm not mistaken it's nice to see that kawasaki does so well with weight distribution i just kicked fifth gear in at 50 miles an hour 4000 rpm wow this engine is silky smooth i already know that i'm going to have such a great time on this bike just because you can stretch the gears a bit if you want as well the red line is at 10,000 rpm so wow <laughs> and it just took off oh this inline four <laughs> engine very well the z900 rs comes from the naked z900 and and so the power plant is good for about 100 for over 110 horsepower and that's that's crazy think about a modern classic retro bike that's got this kind of specs i mean fully adjustable suspension front and back and and so i'm, I'm going to try and dial it in as much as i possibly can i think that uh, so far i'm actually pretty comfortable on this bike uh, it soaks bumps really well but also it's very steady very sharp perhaps a little bit soft uh, when braking hard there's a bit of a dive it dives a little bit so you can see here if i brake it, it, it does dive a little bit at the front so maybe perhaps you know playing around with the rebound and preload adjustments will probably change the attitude of the bike uh, and uh, make it a little bit more sport focused as well now in terms of the gearbox that silk is smooth and i would love absolutely love a quick shifter on this bike but unfortunately kawasaki doesn't even offer one in the optional catalog 
So you're gonna have to make do with pulling the clutch in and you know what, it's okay because it's a retro bike and you're supposed to use the clutch. And in fact, pulling the clutch in, it's actually a very easy job to do and it's quite pleasant, you know? It's got a nice feel to it, I really like it. <laughs> but yeah, gear changes are just down a gear, up a gear, look at that, just so smooth, it just clicks in. Obviously, as standard, you only get traction control and ABS on this bike, there's no rider modes. Um, am I okay with that? Um, I think so. I mean, for now, I don't really feel like I need a riding mode. Perhaps in town, we'll see how the throttle response feels. But perhaps this is something that I will uh, dive deep in the full in-depth review of this bike uh, in a couple of weeks. And um, so definitely stay tuned by subscribing to the channel, hitting the bell icon so you don't miss out any of the new videos and updates that I post on the channel. There's going to be a lot of uh, bike reviews that are going to come out and uh, we plan on making uh, over the next uh, few weeks. So definitely, definitely hit the subscribe button. And that's pretty much it for me guys on this one. Um, I'm going to take it back home, polish it because it looks gorgeous. But yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and I will catch you in the next one.